Although it's been a few days past its opposition, the crown jewel of our solar system has finally returned to our evening skies. However, did you know there's an unique phenomenon that you can observe or image on the planet Saturn? And this phenomenon occurs every year. Tonight, I'm going to be investigating this and comparing the results to what I was able to photograph last year. Let's jump right into it. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun, as well as the second largest planet in our solar system. It's a gas giant that's composed of ammonia crystals in its upper atmosphere, which gives the planet its pale yellow color. In May of 2023, astronomers discovered 62 new moons orbiting Saturn which brings the total to 145, making Saturn the planet with the largest number of moons. But they don't call Saturn the Lord of the Rings for nothing, because its definitive feature is its ring structure, which is composed mainly of ice particles and some rocky debris and dust. And the phenomenon that I'm studying tonight involves Saturn's rings, and this is known as the ring tilt phenomenon. And this ties into the orbital plane of the planet. According to Kepler's law of planetary motion, all of the planets orbit the sun in an elliptical orbit, with the sun being at one of the focal points. And if all of the planet's orbital planes were aligned perfectly with each other, this phenomenon would be known as syzygy. S-Y-Z-Y-G-Y. Syzygy. Correct. Let's use the Earth and the Moon as an example. If the orbital planes for the Earth, Moon, and Sun were in perfect alignment in syzygy, this means that we would experience a total solar eclipse during every new moon and a total lunar eclipse during every full moon. However, the orbital inclinations are always changing for the moon. Sometimes it orbits a little bit higher and sometimes it's a little bit lower. And this change also applies to all the planets. So for Saturn, for example, the orbital plane can be a little bit higher or a little bit lower from our vantage point on Earth. And we can track this change by looking at the ring tilt of Saturn. So there'll be one instance where the rings will be perpendicular from our point of view, and they'll look as if they've almost disappeared, and then they'll reappear in the following year. So if you track this motion across several years, you can create a pretty unique animation as the planet will appear to wobble around a little bit like a spinning top. To image Saturn, I'll be using the following equipment. I'll be using the Celestron Edge HD 9.25 Schmidt Cassegrain Telescope, and this will be mounted on top of the Orion Atlas Pro AZ EQG mount. And for the imaging train, I'll be using the ZWO ASI 224 MC a one-shot color planetary webcam. 
and attached to the barrel of the camera is the Optolong UV IR cut filter to help with the sharpening and contrast details. I'll also be using the ZWO atmospheric dispersion corrector to help minimize the effects of the atmospheric dispersion. And since the scene conditions are really good tonight, I'll be using a three times Barlow lens to get up and close to the planet to resolve as much detail as possible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm inside of Fire Capture and I've started my video recordings for the planet Saturn. And I can already see a slight change in the ring tilt. So I'm really excited to see the comparison for this video and comparing it to what I did last year. So I've already set up my gain and exposure time and my ADC is already set up. So I'm taking a series of 90 second videos for the planet Saturn and the seeing conditions are really good tonight. So that three times borrow lens is showing some really good details. So I'm just going to grab as many videos as I can and just see how the, how the night progresses. Hey everybody, so I was able to complete my video captures for Saturn tonight. So I'm going to select the video that has the best seeing conditions and use that to create the overall image. I had a lot of fun visiting Saturn again this year and I'm really looking forward to seeing the changes in the ring tilt phenomenon between this year's image and last year's image. And I hope you have the opportunity to try this out for yourself. So thank you for watching Astro Park. Please enjoy the image of Saturn at the end of this video. And as always, until next time, take care and I wish you all clear skies.